Welcome back to the OSM channel. In today's video, I'd like to share with you how to easily size and identify the main types of hydraulic hose fittings. Now, what this is gonna allow you to do is this is gonna allow you to order replacement hydraulic hoses online. And when you order replacement hydraulic hoses online, especially if you know where to look, these hoses normally cost about one third the cost of what a local hydraulic shop would charge. Now I'm rebuilding a lock splitter. I blew a hose, took this down to my local hydraulic shop. They wanted to charge me $100 for this little hose, about one foot long. So I declined, started doing some research. I found a video on a YouTube channel by the name of Skyler Hill Shop. And I'm about to share with you what I learned in that video. So big shout out to Skyler Hill Shop. Check out that channel, consider subscribing to them. But I just found the information shared in that video to be so easy to follow, useful, and it's gonna allow us to save a ton of money. I, I just felt like I had to share it with my subscriber base as well. So again, need to give credit where credit is due. Now, before we get into these charts, where to find them, what you gotta do, I do wanna give you a word of caution. If you do decide to purchase a replacement hydraulic hose online, you do need to pay attention to the PSI rating of that hose. Now, the PSI rating on the new hose must meet or exceed the PSI rating on the old hose. If you purchase an underrated hydraulic hose, you risk that hose bursting. And hydraulic injection injuries can quite literally be a death sentence if you don't seek immediate medical treatment and find a doctor that really knows what he's doing when it comes to hydraulic injection injuries. Do some research, look it up. It's very dangerous stuff. So hydraulics need to be built properly and you, you don't want to half-ass things, right? You don't want to bubble gum and paper clip things together. Everything needs to be built skookum. So we have a blown hydraulic hose for our lock splitter. What do we do now? Well, we're gonna need some documents that talk about the different types of fittings. And also we're gonna need this sizing chart. Also, when you print these documents out, I recommend you laminating them so that way you can keep them in the shop and wipe them down whenever they get oil on them. So where do you find these documents? Well, you're gonna find these documents on surpluscenter.com. So once we get to surpluscenter.com, we're gonna to go to the tech help tab. So click on that and pay attention to the left side of the screen, scroll down to hydraulics. Now under hydraulics, we have a subcategory of thread identification. We have the four main types of fittings. We have NPT, SAE O-ring, JIC 37, and ORFS. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna to need to click on each one of these links one at a time. We'll start with NPT. And then see this big download right here? So we're gonna download the PDF of this guide. And this is what I have laminated. So once you print and laminate the two documents that corresponds to each one of the four main fitting types, what kind of information can you expect to get from each one of these pages? Well, first and foremost, you get a visual. For example, this is the NPT fitting guide. You get a visual as to what an NPT fitting looks like. We have some important information as to common fitting sizes, right? Like eighth inch NPT, quarter inch NPT. It also gives you the corresponding thread size. It also gives you a description as to how the fitting works. Pipe thread fitting seal using metal to metal connection. And then if we go to page two, this is where things become really helpful. So we have an understanding as to what an NPT fitting looks like. Now this is a sizing chart. So once you print this sizing chart out on a standard piece of paper, which I think is eight and a half by 11, this gives you a true sizing chart. And you can see the sizing varies based on the fitting type. So the top here, we have NPT fittings. Uh, the middle, we have a combination of JIC 37 fittings as well as SAE O-ring fittings. And then finally, we have a sizing chart for ORFS, O-ring face seal fittings. So the hose on my lock splitter that blew, this definitely looks like it is a NPT fitting, National Pipe Thread Fitting. Now let's size it on the chart and see if we can figure out what size fitting this NPT fitting is. Let's try a one inch. See, it's a lot smaller than one inch. Three quarter, definitely smaller than three quarter. What about three eight? Well, it looks like it's bigger than three eight. Half inch, perfect size. So I know for a fact, this fitting right here is a half inch NPT male fitting. So this hydraulic hose for the log splitter, we have one fitting figured out. We have a half inch male NPT. Now what about the other fitting? It's female. 
This is going to complicate things just a little bit, but it really doesn't. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to find the male end of this fitting, which is going to be on the ram of the lock splitter. So let's take this chart over to the lock splitter, and first let's identify what type of fitting this is. So here's the male fitting that corresponds to that female fitting that I'm trying to identify. So if I go to my charts, you know, this could be one of four things. It's definitely not an NPT fitting because we know what an NPT fitting looks like. Could it be an OFRS fitting? Well, let's take a look at the picture on the document here. Well, it doesn't match that picture, but we can also confirm by reading the uh, description right here. O-R-F-S O-ring face seal fittings have a straight thread and a flat face with an O-ring groove machined into the flat face. So it is definitely not an O-R-F-S fitting. Next up, what about an SAE O-ring fitting? Well, let's take a look at the pictures. Well, that doesn't really match. This could potentially match, but I don't think it's going to match. Let's read the description. SAE O-ring, O-ring boss are straight thread fittings that seal using a O-ring between the thread and the wrench flats of the fitting. The O-ring seals against the machine seat on the female port. So from that description, it is definitely not an SAE O-ring fitting. Now that just leaves one fitting left, the JIC 37 fitting. Looking at the pictures, well, that looks like a match in terms of the male end. Let's read the description. JIC 37 degree flare fitting seal with metal to metal contact between the flared nose of the fitting and the flare tube face in the female connection. So it looks like it's definitely gonna be a JIC 37 fitting. So we know for a fact we have a JIC 37 fitting connection here. When we order the hydraulic hose, we need to ensure that the end we order is female because the male end is on the hydraulic control valve here. So what we need to do, we need to size this fitting. So in order to do that, we're gonna break out our sizing chart. We're gonna go to JIC. 37, which is the middle sizing chart, and we're just gonna have to try and figure out what size this is. 5 sixteenths, way too small. 3 eighths, still too small. Half inch, half inch, we have a winner. So we have a half inch JIC fitting. So on the hydraulic hose, it's gonna be a half inch female JIC fitting. And that's all there is to it, folks. The key is these sheets. Get these laminated, even if you gotta pay a few bucks at the library. But we have identified the replacement hydraulic hose that we're gonna have to order is half inch male NPT to half inch female JIC 37. And then the final thing you would have to do is figure out what length you want your hose at. And again, ensure that the replacement hydraulic hose PSI rating meets or exceeds the original hose. Now I ended up purchasing a longer hose because I am modifying my log splitter and this is gonna work well for my application. With that, I would like to thank you for watching. As always, I will catch you on the next one.